Hey Nate, uh, this is how you can pull information from different Google Sheets into one kind of master sheet. Um, so I've got three sheets here, so one with just some cities, another with animals, and then a combination where I'm going to pull the data. Um, you can use a function called import range, and what you need is for each spreadsheet you need this information. This is the key to that sheet, um, and it's a unique identifier, so I'm just going to copy that. And we'll come back over to the combination and we will do equals import range and then the first thing you do is um, put your spreadsheet key that you just copied in quotes and then we have to give it a reference um, so if you look back here on the cities one this is sheet one and I want to get all of column A so as the new information is added here um, it'll pop up in your combination sheet so we're going to do another quotes sheet one exclamation point and then a colon a and that a colon a tells it to get everything in that column hit enter and it should drop it in now the first time you do it you might get like the um the hashtag ref with an exclamation point click on that and then you have to it'll say approve access um, it just keeps the sheets from uh it, it's for data protection essentially so let me do it real quick with the second one so i'll grab that combination equals import range Spreadsheet key, and then sheet one again, exclamation point A, column A, close, enter, and it loads all that data. So now, check this out. If I go over to the cities and I add another city on here, so we'll do Cleveland, oops, add another city, hit enter, it adds it to your city sheet and it will also add it over here on your master. So that way, if you have a form that's live online or something, it will continue to pull that data in. Um, now you need to have a column in your master for every column in each of your referenced sheets. So uh, that kind of, it's a, it's a quicker, well, it's not a great way, but it's a, it's a way to get around having multiple forms dumped into the same sheet. So have a sheet for each of your forms and then use import range to grab that, uh, the information that you want. And you can do a full range, you know, so I could have, um, like here from my, my spreadsheet range, I could have A1 to C, you know, 50 or whatever um, your form range is. Uh, so anyways, hope that helps.